All right, guys. This is Sam with Spieler Custom Baits. Today we're going to be tying in a red and white bucktail jig. We're going to start off with a 1 16th ounce jig head. I poured these the other day and then I powder coated them in red bug colorways. I really like how that red bug comes out. It has a really good shine to it. Reflects really well. There you can see that there. I'm gonna start this off with a little bit of adhesive. I prefer using Loon Hardhead just because it's non-toxic, but you can use any type of adhesive that you would want. And then start off with a little bit of red thread. Take it all the way down the shank. Watch out not to clip it. And take it back up to the top. Cutting off that tag end. I'm gonna grab a little bit of bucktail here. myself off a little pinch all right and when you're working with bucktail what you want to do is make sure that you get rid of some of those guard hairs which are those smaller hairs that are along the the long hairs So what I like to do is I like to pinch it about a quarter inch up from the tip and then fan it out until I get the, what I presume to be most of the guard hairs out. And then I measure and clip. And once I have it the size that I want, I'll take it the thread down just a little bit so that I can wrap up to lock it in. And then I'll start wrapping back to get the hair to stand where I want it to and then I do a little bit of a cleanup work and lock that hair in Now I'm going to grab myself a little bit of the white bucktail and I'm going to go through and repeat that process. I'm going to cut myself off a piece that I believe to be the right size for what I want. Then I'm going to be fanning it out and getting rid of those guard hairs. I'm going for a little bit of a smaller piece on top of this one because I want that red to be accented out. Measuring it up to get it about the same length. Some people like to stack their hair. I do in certain applications, but with the jigs, I kind of like to have the little bit of longer hairs coming out the back. It just seems to give it a little bit more of a tail. I'm tying this in right on top of that red. And then tie it back just to make sure everything's locked in. This colorway kind of gives it that bleeding minnow type pattern. And wrap in just a little bit of flash, white flash, just for a little bit more of an attention grabber. I just fold it over the neck of the hook and then I hold it back and tie it in where I would like for it to be placed. And then hold that for those last few wraps to lock it in. Just 
making sure that those are where I want them to be. They were a little bit off to the side, so pull them out just a little bit before I lock them in again. <laughs> Being careful that I don't cut the line. which I have done many a times. Now we're gonna go for some Chanel. I like the, for this pattern, the pearl white Chanel with a little bit of crystal flash in there. This what this jig's kind of a little bit of an attention grabber. Lock that tag in and then wrap up towards the head cleaning up. And I like to wrap my Chanel keeping even pressure in the same way that I wrap my, my thread. Going halfway back over it just to create a little bit of a full body. And then I'll go over it twice, once behind the Chanel, and then multiple reps in front of the Chanel to lock it in, and then again, right behind the Chanel, and locking it back in around the head. Then cut the Chanel. I like to cut it pretty close to the, to the collar just so that there's not a whole bunch of stuff hanging off of it and then locking that totally in to the neck of that jig. And then going in for a whip finish. I like to do at least, at least two. Two is usually my standard for crappie jigs just to make sure that in case of failure or any type of Praying that that string will stay. Then I like my flash just a little bit longer than my tail. And then we're going to add the adhesive. I like to use my my bobbin just to get a little bit of a adhesive on that neck and the collar without uh, adding it into the actual Chanel and hardening up that Chanel. If you get it into the Chanel too much, it'll actually seep back just like with any other, any other material and it'll harden out the body. Now just working that flash just to make sure that it's in the place that I want it to. And finally we have our bleeding minnow style crappie jig with a little bit of flash on there. get a better a little bit better shot of that and thank you guys very much